Hello and welcome to another Andrew CBO video. Today we're looking back at many different methods of encryption pay TV providers used from the 1980s to the 1990s before most providers switched to digital TV. Sky Channel started as a free to air channel when it took over the satellite channel on the 16th of January 1984. It wasn't until the late 80s Sky started the journey to a pay TV package. <laughs> Sky Movies started on the 5th of February 1989 as a free-to-air channel. It wasn't exactly until a year later it became a pay TV channel. New generation. You are a part of a growing family of Sky viewers. And if you're watching Sky through an Astra home satellite dish system, you're receiving the complete Sky package of news, sports, entertainment and movies absolutely free of charge. From February, Sky Movies will be scrambled and a weekly subscription charge will apply. New dish buyers will enjoy the Sky package for a £15 deposit and a weekly fee of £2.29. But for you, the Sky pioneers, here's a special offer. Register now and you will qualify for a six-month free bonus period. No subscription to pay until August 1990. It's our way of saying thank you for joining us as a pioneer. To take advantage of this one-time-only offer, call the satellite hotline on 01847 7777 and we'll be in touch to install the necessary equipment. All you pay is a £15 deposit for a decoder to unscramble the signal and your personalised smart card. The lock and the key to all four Sky channels, including Sky Movies. So sign up now as a Sky Pioneer. Call 01847 7777. This offer closes September 30th. So don't miss out on Sky Television. More channels, more choice. That's why we're the one. First customers were known as pioneers and got a video equipped decoder called the SVA-1 and the service free for 6 months. First encrypted movie on Sky Movies was Robocop on the 5th of February 1990. You see back when Sky first started the service, most satellite receivers at the time did not include video equipped decoders and these were actually external. Here's an Amstrad SRX-100 and an Amstrad SRX-200. You would have to connect the decoder to the set-top box via SCART. Later boxes had video equip decoders included, such as the Amstrad SRD-510 or the PACE MSS-100. The Amstrad SRD-550 even had two video equip slots. On 2nd of November 1901, Sky merged with BSB. Sky added the movie channel to the movies package with the launch of Astra 1B on the 15th of April 1991. First film was shown was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. As soon as Sky TV channels become attractive, it started becoming a priority target. This was especially noticeable after Sky Sports acquired Premiership Football in 1992. B-Sky B have won the exclusive rights to live television coverage of English football's new Premier League. It's the most exciting opportunity that I've yet seen for the sport to develop a real partnership with television. Sky Sports has only been on the air for 14 months, but just look at what we've already achieved in our first season of football coverage. Self, football will never look so good and be covered so comprehensively than on Sky Sports. Hosted by Richard Keyes together with Britain's leading commentators Martin Tyler and Ian Dark. The Premier League and Sky Sports. A whole new ball game. Early cards were not as strong as the later cards and channels could be hacked until Sky changed cards. Here are some trailers for card changes over the years. Throw your old card away. If you have any problems with your new card, call the Sky Customer Services on 0506 460000. Further details about your Sky viewing card are available on Skytex, page 310. Sky Television is issuing new viewing cards with the number 07 on the back of the card. 
When you receive your new card, use it immediately. And if everything is satisfactory, destroy your old card. Any problems? Call Sky on 0506 460000 and continue to use your old card until the problem has been rectified. Watch out for your new 07 viewing card. This is an important announcement for all Sky viewers. If you're still using one of these viewing cards, you will soon no longer be able to receive Sky subscription channels. It's important that you check that you've received and are using the new Sky viewing card like this. If you have any queries about your new card or have not yet received it, please call Sky on 0990 1020 30. Operators are available to assist you from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. Sky cards 1 to 5, once activated, could be protected from any deactivation with a simple diode. It was nicknamed the Innocent Lives hack. After Series 5, this hack no longer worked. Series 7 and Series 9 were available on a season device which connected to your PC. Series 8 cards were skipped as it was simply was a key change from Series 7. By Series 10, Sky had got quite hot on protecting cards and protected it with an ASIC chip. So hacks didn't really appear after that. K Gold started on the 1st of November 1902. His partners were Thames and BBC. The channel used the video grip soft grip feature to offer the channel free to UK satellite viewers. This meant you could encrypt the channel and make it viewable without a viewing card, provided you had a video grip decoder. The idea of this was to prevent overseas audiences from viewing the channel, which might have increased the licensing costs of the TV channel. Oh, video grip decoders were actually available overseas, so not sure this was anything but a nuisance. UK Gold then joined Sky Multipackage in 1903 and hard encrypted and video crept, meaning you had to have a card to view it. Classic British television on satellite and cable. From September the 1st, Sky One will be scrambled as part of the Sky Multi Channels package. If you're not a movie subscriber or you've not replied to our special offer, you'll be unable to watch Sky One from the end of this month. Also to be scrambled from that date, UK Gold. Other channels to use the soft crept feature were Channel 5 and TNT plus Cartoon Network. With the launch of Sky Multi Channels, Sky One switched from being free to air to encrypted. There were announcements beforehand making you aware of the change. Sky One, a part of the British Sky Broadcasting Network. You're watching Sky One. From September the 1st, this channel will be scrambled as part of the Sky Multi-Channels package. If you're a movie subscriber, don't worry. You will continue to receive Sky One absolutely free of charge. If you're not a movie subscriber and haven't taken up our special offer, call now on 0506 484848 and make sure you're part of a brand new Sky with Sky Multi-Channels. Here's a special announcement for Sky One viewers. From September the 1st, Sky One will be scrambled as part of the Sky Multi-Channels package. If you're not a movie subscriber, or if you've not replied to our special offer, you'll be unable to watch Sky One from the end of this month. Also to be scrambled from that date, UK Gold, Bravo, Discovery, The Children's Channel, The Family Channel, UK Living, Country Music Television, and Nickelodeon. It's not too late to order. Watch out for this special offer coming to you in the post. Your chance to subscribe to the Sky Multi-Channels package for just £3.99 per month through to the end of the year. Simply complete and return the enclosed contract and don't miss a brand new Sky with Sky Multi-Channels. You're watching Sky One. September 1993. Welcome to a brand new Sky. Welcome to the launch of Sky Multi-Channels. Now many new channels are available through your Astra satellite dish and only Sky subscribers will be able to view all of the Sky multi-channels. If you're not yet a subscriber, you'll be seeing your Sky One program scrambled like this. In order to assist our viewers, some programs will remain unscrambled during the next few days. Within the next week, however, all Sky One programs will be scrambled and you'll need a Sky viewing card. 
If you've received your Sky subscription agreement in the post, please fill it in and return it to Sky and we'll send you your viewing card immediately. Alternatively, you could collect a Sky viewing card from your local retailer. Or send us your name, address and phone number on a postcard to Sky Livingston EH54 7PR and we'll send you your viewing card in the post. Don't miss out on the new age of multi-channel television through the Sky Satellite Network. From the Sky Satellite Network, this is Sky One. Oddly, the way it was tested beforehand was one part of the program was encrypted and the second half free to air. Scrambled as a test for the September launch of Sky Multi-Channels. If your screen becomes scrambled like this, then you need to contact Sky. Call 0506 484848. That's 0506 484848 for details of how to subscribe. Remember, if you haven't already subscribed to Sky Multi-Channels, all Sky One programs will be scrambled from September the 1st. The following program is being scrambled for test purposes only. So I did wonder how it was being a viewer with no card, being able to watch only half of Rescue 911, one of the programs often shown at the time. Hey, First, VideoCrypt was used as an artificial channel block for VH1 Germany. The presence of the VideoCrypt decoder would start the encryption feature of the decoder, despite the channel being broadcast free to air. So turning off your decoder or slam on the Amstrad SID 510, I found you could view this channel. BBC Select used the VideoCrypt S for the limited time it existed. This included VideoCrypt's ability to encrypt the sound which was never used by Sky UK. The set-top used by BBC Select was a big beast as well. Crypt, quite similar to cable crypt and worked by removing the sync pulse in the power tv system it was used on english soundtrack dutch subtitle programming on dutch rtl4 rtl5 and veronica these channels would have dutch content free to air but encrypt the american subtitle programming due to obvious rights costs issues using an analog tv you could mess about with tuning and view the video in an odd way but magazines in the UK at the time were full of ads where you could obtain these decoders. Net used SatPak from the 1980s to 1992. It was similar to LuxCrypt but would have a phase in the chromination that would confuse the LuxCrypt decoders. Many decoders were available from satellite magazines at the time which means there was a battle between the broadcasters and the pirates. In September 92, Filmnet gave up with SatPak and switched to Uacret and D2Mac, so let's go into detail on that. Uacret was used by Scandinavian channels which mainly used the D2Mac video transmission. And power receivers would appear like this, so extra decoder was needed to be connected to your receiver. Viewing on a Mac receiver when encrypted, it would have a strong greenish appearance. Ucrypt was often hacked and took over as the pirate choice when Sky secured the cards from the late 90s. As you can see, adverts were plentiful in UK magazines from 96, suggesting call lines and cards you could use to view the channels. Nagrovision was used by Canal Plus France, Premier and Teddy Club. Teddy Club would later move from Astra Transponder 9 to being cable only. It had a limited appeal, 
due to the analog channels mostly being dubbed content and not English. Cards had a fob-like appearance, but though card hacks didn't seem to appear, in the late 90s, computers were able to rebuild the pictures based on algorithms and were able to recreate the picture without a card. Programs such as Bar TV that used a PC TV card as a video source and an output tier on your monitor. The only thing was, if a picture had a lot of the same colour, such as a football pitch, there would be disruption due to not being able to fully calculate the coding. Disc 11, or Disc Positive Electronic Television, was originally used by Canal Plus France for the analog terrestrial pay TV service in France from 1984 to about 92. This was also used by BBC for overnight content such as the British medical TV during the late 80s. Here's the side by side comparison of encrypted and decrypted discrete on Canal Plus J. However, it was widely compromised, so it was dropped by these companies. Discret 12 was used by mainly by Ray, the Italian broadcaster, for sports events. Due to rights issues on sports events, if transmitted outside their country, they would likely increase the broadcasting costs. The encryption was based on a horizontal video line delay and audio scrambling. The picture in parts of the screen would be randomly delayed for a period of nanoseconds. <laughs> 